Kyle, roll the intro. It's rolled. <laughs> Welcome back to the Stomach Great Show. This week we're doing uh, Batman movies and movie villains. There's a little tier list again, like, kind of like we did with Spider-Man, even though I don't really think anybody watched that. No, nope. for the three people that watched Spider-Man, here is Batman. Yes. Batman. <laughs> uh, so I'll uh, start off with uh, the movies, the cinematic movies. Here. Jump right into it. The live action ones. We won't. We're not gonna mess with the cartoon ones. Man, that list would be never ending. <laughs> yeah, it'd be never ending, man. I've been getting so... into some of some of their some of the animation stuff lately, but there's yeah, just so I, I would much like of to it. do one. I would just have to sit down and spend like a year watching. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watch been watching. Um, if you ever want to watch like an animation that's kind of coincides i think it's called batman year one and it's called the dark knight returns and the dark knight returns mm-hmm. two those three coincide i'm halfway through that middle one batman returns his old age it's a it's an interesting look on um batman so yeah but yeah so Sees where he's at at the ripe old age of fifty five. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, you know, he's yeah, been through I'm, that shit. He's been through all the Robin stuff, and you know, you just can see what kind of man Bruce Wayne is, and what kind of what Batman has kind of come to, in terms of the hellhole that he still lives in. Anyways, oh, <laughs> maybe maybe one day maybe we'll get into that. That would be cool. Yeah. Just go back and rewatch all that stuff. You watch it all. It'd be fun. So hopping right in. I don't yeah. even know what this is what the title of this very first one is called. Batman the movie. Batman the movie. Should know that. Yeah, it's Bat- it's Batman the movie, man. Nineteen sixty six. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. So this is gonna be I haven't seen this, so I would put it here in the haven't seen, but where yeah. where do you put it? Oh man, I have it as B. As a B, okay. Yeah, because it, just because of what it is, man. Um, so this was Adam West, right? This is the this is the original B- Batman. I mean, he's the OG Batman. Uh, this was the TV show from back in the day, the Kapow, mm-hmm. and you know all that stuff. So when you know, way before my time, of course, but still growing up, this was always on like Nick at Night, some of those other late late night TV shows. You get some of those old Batmans. <clears throat> and then growing up, you had the Batman, the Batman, the movie. Of course, when I was younger, I had Tim Burton's Batmans. But this was always still one of those other weird Batmans you had. And then I didn't really watch the show a whole lot, but he had Batman, the movie would come on some weird times. And this was a weird one because it had like all of the villains in it. And it had like the Joker and it had, what is it? Penguin, the Riddler, the Joker and Catwoman in it. Um, so that was always Ow. like awesome. Yeah. Oh dude. One of the best cat women's ever it was great. <laughs> one of the, yeah. It's good stuff. So if, if you don't know, we'll do a little, just a little quick. The only, the only cat women's I've seen is, uh, Anne Hathaway. And, um, I just had her name in the Michelle Fivers. No, the other was it Michelle. Oh, the, Michelle Fiverr Batman returns. No, I'm talking about the Catwoman movie. Stand oh, the movie. Oh, Hellberry. Um, Hellberry. Hell, yeah. Hellberry. I think those are the only ones. So, if you anybody that's seen um, any of the, the the Joker that Heath Ledger portrayed, when he robs the bank in the beginning of that movie, the mask that he wears is done up like old school Joker mask. It's like the makeup is the old school makeup. So. Um, just that's an old school, not to old school Batman stuff. But that's where I put it. We can move on from that one, just because it's just OG Batman. Yeah, nothing beats a dynamic duo, baby. Yep. I hope Holy they do. Batman. I hope they do come up with a Batman movie with a good Robin, with you know realistic. You know, there's some really good. You know, you know again animations we talked about. There's some really good yeah. of that stuff, but we haven't seen. Well, Titans has technically Robin that changes into Nightwing. That's realistic. Yeah. That show isn't bad either, but it has its yeah, ups like, and downs anyways. There's so much in the Batman universe that I feel like is really justifiable. We can really get really good characters from the heroes in Batman. 
But for some reason, they just have failed to do that. I don't know why. Because, I mean, they, they Well, they had that, that whole... Because yeah. I think a lot of people like Batman as a solo gig better than a partnership, you know? Yeah, yeah I can... Because of the whole um, the, the Jason Todd dark. thing. Yeah. Back, back in... When was that? When they had that vote on if they should kill off robin or not and they ended up voting wow. yes and they ended up doing that back in the day so i think ever since that it's always been a little weird about portraying robin or not um, yeah. but anyways yeah move on batman 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 michael keaton, michael keaton man michael keaton so these Oh, one I thing I wanted to mention before. I feel like we're doing a really good job between Spider-Man. I feel like Spider-Man, in many people's eyes, would be probably, in the majority anyways, would be the favorite out of Marvel. And I feel like Batman is probably the favorite out of uh, DC Universe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. That, yeah, I mean, that's hard. People, people love Superman. I know, but I feel like in more it's... recent years, it's been more Batman than Superman. Yeah. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. That could be a generational thing, too, because growing up, man, we had this argument a lot growing up. I mean, I ran into a lot of people that liked Superman way more than Batman. So, yep. but once again, me growing up, we didn't have a lot of Superman content. It was all comic book cartoon. So, you know, nowadays, all the Superman content has been really not very good. So, that could have something to do with it compared to Batman content. I feel like, you know... <clears throat> Talk about Michael Keaton, obviously, eventually becoming the Vulture, but um, I feel like a lot of people come back to being superheroes a lot because I feel like, what's his name that played superhero, that played Superman right before we got our current Superman? He became a oh, superhero in... Something, right? So, yeah, he became a superhero in the, in the TV show, kind yeah. of DC Universe Adam, TV show. Right, Adam something? Yeah, Adam. Yeah. So, I don't know. You see, you see a lot of guys come back, I feel like. So. Yeah. Well, you look at, was it Chris Evans? That guy's been like five comic book characters, man. Superheroes, <laughs> characters. So. Okay. We're rambling. We're getting way off topic. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> That's what we're here for, right? Batman. Batman. Michael Keaton's Batman. Tim Burton directed and created, right? So. It's yep. dark. It's a perfect time, right? 1989. Um, I have it as A. Do you? I don't know where you'd rank it as. Um, I don't know when the last time you watched it. I actually re this one. I've actually gone through and rewatched these. So movies. this one is out of like these four. Is probably the closest one I've watched lately. Latest one, I should say, which is still like five more than five years ago, for sure. So it's been a while. I did not catch up like I probably should have, but. Honestly, to sit through some of these movies, <laughs> I don't know if I could have. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it an A. I, I liked it back then. I'm sure I'd like it now. The only problem I have with a lot of these Batman costumes is, like, I feel like they can't, when they look around. Yeah, I agree. I they agree. Can't, oh, camera can't even see me. So the old, I feel like you can't old, turn your neck. Like, you like, are turning. Yeah, like a statue you gotta, you gotta face your, shor your shoulders wherever the hell you want to look. Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah the old Michael Keaton one, man. It's like else. having a neck brace on. He's like, he got in a car accident. He's got a neck brace. And every time he turns, he's got to turn his whole yeah. shoulder. And they did and that. Like, What's they, over here? They actually did that in the first, and uh, Batman, uh, the Christopher Nolan ones. The first one, he was kind of like that. And I think they made a funny nod to it in the second one. I remember uh, uh, Christian Bale or Bruce Wayne, whatever, asking, asking to be able to turn his head. I don't know. He made a joke about it. I can't remember exactly what it was, but yeah, no. Maybe more flexible, right? Something. Yeah. 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 Fantastic movie, man. I mean, uh, for the time being, you know, we've I've talked about this with a lot of other people, some of my friends, just the, eight, the 80s going in the 90s um, with just the like culture about culture, everything in general we went from this like bright neon lights, just weird eighties to like this dark, this dark world of like movies and music, and television, 
everything was kind of going that world and Tim Burton was a big part of that the way that it kind of went and this movie was was part of that man it was dark and it was it wasn't Batman like how Batman was in the 60s right in this bright and kapow it was very yeah just not very happy <laughs> Batman so it was pretty good I enjoyed it it's a fun movie yeah and Jack Jack's character Jack Nichols' character is just it, his Joker is is amazing he, he plays this you know people have seen it I know they've seen it a hundred times his his gangster style Joker is fucking phenomenal and it's you know it was really it's hard to top but of course eventually we do we'll get to that conversation but it's a good movie yeah Oh, so Lucius Lucius asks Bruce if he wants to be able to turn his head. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, there you go. So, okay, then... <sighs> getting ahead of ourselves. Next, Batman, Batman returns. So I, I this this is a personal favorite of mine. I have this as S tier. Just just because of the cast itself, and then the we talked about it a little bit in Spider Man with villains and how many villains are in that movie, and doing it right, and how do you control it? And this one had Catwoman and Penguin, and you had like this kind of not really mob, but Christopher Walken's character was like this boss CEO mob type boss character type thing. Yeah, he wasn't really a mob guy, mm. but he was more of like a business. He controlled businesses, and he was like a politician type character. But he's the one that kills Michelle Pfeiffer character to turn her into Catwoman. So, like, spoiler alert. She flushed her down the drain like a Catwoman? Yeah, he pushes her out a window. And then she gets, like, rescued by cats, and then she's Catwoman. And then, um... Okay. But you have, like, you have, like, all these villains in this movie, but not one time do they feel like they're overshadowing one another. They just all kind of work. And you just have this, like, brilliantly really well wrote out story and it's just it's just really well done the whole thing um great ending um yeah it's just it's just for me it's just it's an amazing film man it's just from beginning to end i think it blows the first one out of the water as far as acting goes movie everything of course bigger just everything about it was bigger and better and yeah it's just it's just great man that's the way i like it bigger and better Bigger dream. Dream. I've, I've actually just rewatched all of these first four movies. Pretty much, I actually watched most most of these movies recently, except for the '66 and, and Batman v Superman. I, those are the two I haven't watched in a long time, but the other ones I've all rewatched in the last year. So no, I've not done that. <laughs> so you definitely got better going on this than I do, but. Yeah. <sighs> Getting oh, on to the next set of Batman Forever. Batman movies. Oh man, Batman Forever. Forever and ever. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it started to get weird. Yeah. It starts to get weird, man. I don't know. This is I, I have it as C. Yeah. Was, Jim Carrey makes it as C. <laughs> I, yeah, I literally, everybody else in that movie, I mean, Val Kilmer is okay as a Batman. His Bruce Wayne, I'm, I'm not a fan of, but his Batman was okay. And he that dragged it a little bit down. But if everybody else, and Tommy Lee Jones is okay, Jim Carrey by himself could have made this movie to A. <laughs> he, he, sounds like classic Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, his, his his Riddler is still to this day my fucking one of my favorite villains in any comic book ever. Comic book movie, it's fucking amazing. But everything else in this movie is just trash. <laughs> <laughs> the, the costumes are bad. Yeah. Uh, it's I mean, weird. His, his Riddler costumes are okay, but I mean the the makeup is not good. I mean the Two Face makeup's not good. It's just I don't oh. know, man. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they just went maybe a little too too bright, 
maybe a little too mm-hmm. comic booky. Yeah. In terms of, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. I don't feel like they really do a great job in the next in this next movie of fixing that. No, I think they got worse. <laughs> yeah. and, and the next one I have is a D. So I don't. D. Yeah, the next one is is horrible. The only saving grace of this one is Uma Thurman, is Poison Ivy, and she couldn't save this movie. So I, and I don't. You know, I, I don't. You don't like. Those, you don't like Arnold's freeze jokes. No, no, no. no. Dude, and I literally love Arnold, and almost, I mean, I have Arnold behind me for people that, when we used to do video, now we're only doing audio, but I have a poster of Arnold behind me in one of his movies. I love Arnold and almost everything he's ever done, but this was just like, here's a couple million dollars, fucking mail it in for me, you know, and it, <laughs> it just, it hurt everything in my soul to watch him do this role, because it was just, it was, it was bad, man, just... I don't know. It just wasn't good. Arnold so. is one of those one of those actors. You know, he's you know he wasn't brought up as an actor, obviously, but he's one of those yeah. actors where if the director asks, he'll do it and he'll do whatever yeah. he can do with it. He won't question yep. it at all, and that's where I nope. think it hurt him in this movie. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll put it. I'll put it in D for sure. But I mean, it's yeah. if you're just going in to have a good time and have and just laugh at anything you can laugh yeah. at, this is a great movie to watch. But yeah, no, don't get me wrong. So I, I, like I said, I rewatched them all in the last year. They're they are fine movies. I I don't think that they're like the worst movies ever. So like if it, but we're ranking Batman movies. If you're if you want to watch them like, as a kid, if you got kids that are gonna watch them, they're awesome. <laughs> Like, because they're fun, they're PG, right? I think they're like PG 13, right? Let me look real quick. I think PG 13. Um, they're like super fucking, like, oh yeah, PG 13 movies. So, like, I mean, what are you going to do? Like, they're, they're fun movies to watch and enjoy. They're like almost comic booky style movies, um, those two films. But they're not, I don't know, man. They're not, for me, they're just not good movies as a whole. They're, they put nipples in the bat suits. I think it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, what are we putting nipples in the bat suits for? Oh, like, Joel Schumacher designers. and his weird ass shit. Just ruined it all. Yeah. No. No, obviously, uh, you know, he plays blame. You can't place one thing on blame. There's yeah. lots of things that could have some... been changed and done better, but yeah. Sure. It's hard to ignore some of those very interesting costume decisions. Yeah, that's for sure. But I mean, I've watched them. I've watched them both a bunch of times in my life because they are mind-numbingly fun to watch in the background while you do something else or just have on because they're Batman movies and Batman's Batman. always on. I'm Batman. I'm always Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love that. I think, you know, we're going to be talking about the Dark Knight trilogy and one thing they explain and do really well, I think, especially in the first movie and, you know, they talk about it in the uh, the third movie as well, is the fact that Bruce Wayne is is no longer Bruce Wayne. His, what he is, is actually Batman. And Bruce Wayne is just his fake ID, you know, Mm -hmm. by, at least by the end of the third movie. So, and I do feel like they do a great job of explaining it throughout these three movies. So, anyways, let's get into Christopher Nolan's superhero babies. <laughs> um, Batman Begins. Yeah, Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Another Christopher Nolan set of movies, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Uh, these, that begins, man. These were... I mean, these... Because obviously Spider-Man had come out before these, and these really put... I mean, 
He's topped them. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I know. I am sure people will argue both ways, and it you can definitely argue both ways on whether the original Spider-Mans, at least I think at the time, the first two, I don't know if, when. I think they intertwine a little bit, but no. I can't. It was 01 and 04, right? Spider-Man and then Spider-Man 2, right? Something like that? Yeah, in there. This came, Batman Begins came out in 05. So right after? Right after the third one or right after the second one? Second one. Third right one came second. out in 06. Yeah. So a little intertwining, but same same period of time. And yeah, yeah it's just... I think overall, Bat this Batman series did a better job than the Spider Man series. Yeah, well, I think a lot of that, you know, I mean, when you, you think that comes no, down not to the director or well, that's what I'm saying. It, I feel like if we talked a little bit about it with Spider Man, because I feel like if Sam Raimi got to do his whole vision with a third one, I felt like that third one would have completed it more did it better it would have got to do it better but he didn't get to finish his movies no. where this one nolan had full control over the whole story yeah from beginning to end you know what i mean these were his fucking films from beginning to end down to the down to everything you know Raimi didn't have full control over most stuff where nolan was like down to some of the costume shit nolan was making decisions you know so yeah so I mean that's I feel like that's where you get some of the perfection out of these and and of course we can critique some of these all day but we I mean Batman Begins I struggled with this when I was making this list real quick earlier when we before, before we decided to do this and I mean I have it as an A yep I, that, that's that we where have? I have it yep yeah I, I have it as an A um just because I felt like the villains with you know, Scarecrow and Ra's al Ghul weren't as flushed out as some of the other no, films. Definitely not. I feel like, um, <sighs> but it was more. It was more character building. Yeah. Right, for back, for, it was and they did a really good job of character building Bruce Wayne throughout yeah. this movie. You know, from when yeah. he was gonna shoot his parents' killers to the point where he, you know, became Batman. I feel like there was a ton character building and you know it wasn't just like that there was a lot of steps that i feel like they took and they did well showing that um and then his need and want to do better and you know yeah save his becoming a symbol versus yeah all this other and he took a lot of he, he definitely took a lot of um visions and a lot of stuff away from rouse that goal just just not the killing part yeah. It's really the yeah, only yeah, main yeah, yeah. difference. He's not willing yeah. to cross that line, which, yeah. you know, we had this talk, you know, a, a while ago about, you know, that line, whether that makes you a superhero or not, whether yeah. you kill people or not, we won't get into it much, but that's one thing I love about Batman is yeah. that line that he tries to protect, you know, in all yeah. ways, you know, even though he kind of does people. kill Raz go at the end, whether he says he does or doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely does. I ain't killing you. I, 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 don't, I don't have to save you, motherfucker. That's killing that dude, no matter what you want to say. <laughs> you blew the train up, bitch. You killing it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I have it as an A. It's a brilliant movie, dude. Great. All the way through. Um, the great Gary Oldman, once again, is a chameleon with every movie he's in. Uh, it's Commissioner Gordon in this. Crushes it. So, um, but... Liam Neeson doesn't get enough credit for Ra's al Ghul, I feel and like. And I feel like, you know, again, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there was more that could have been done with Ra's al Ghul. I do too, but I feel like. Because, you know, in the, Liam, you know, Liam Ra's al Ghul is supposed to be one of but... Batman's greatest um, villains, you know. It's basically, I, yeah. his, you know, other than Joker, it's his next, I would say his next biggest villain. And, sure. You know, it only takes a movie to take him out. So, mm -hmm. but I think that's what we we'll get through the whole. Once we we'll get through the whole story here, I feel like that's where his story was going, right? With Talia Agul and Talia, right? Talia, Talia Agul. And once you get through the whole story of it, I think that's where Nolan, right? He was telling this version of his story of Batman. Yeah. So, 
that's why he kills him so quick and yep and whatever but anyway movie ends it's a great movie i have it as an a yeah, yeah. and the then dark night i get in the dark night uh i have this <laughs> is arguably one of the best movies ever made it's one of my favorite films ever i don't I don't really know if there's really like a bad part of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just. I mean, I, it's just. The only thing, the only bad. weird thing, and you know, it's nitpicking at this point because there's. You're you're right. There's nothing that you could say that's really bad about it. The one thing I see a lot of people nitpick about it, and I do a little bit, is the fact you know that Two Face. You know, when his face burns, I feel like it's almost like. Get it off his face. <laughs> <laughs> just, just rub that shit off. Just stop. Just stop it. Just let yeah. him. But you know, again, it. nitpicking. You know, there is. But the problem with liquid with liquid burns though, you can't really. It does. It's it's hard just to just to get off though. It doesn't really work like that because once it seeps into your skin, it, it it's more of a chemical at that point burning into your skin versus just get it off. So at that point, he's already he's already. But Batman is just they like they Batman is just like there watching him burn half his face off. You gotta remember though, he is banging his lady. So in the in the backwards, there is kind of like, I'm gonna let this motherfucker burn a little bit. <laughs> I'm not killing him, the fire is <laughs> you, you can you can stay on fire, you asshole. No, and I feel like um Harvey Dent, you know, Two Face, um, his I forget the actor's name. You got it. Aaron Aaron Eckhart. Oh, I feel like he does a great job. He is likable enough to where the point when you see him turn, you hate it, you know? I want to say he's, you know, I feel like he maybe could have been a little bit more likable. I don't know how they would have done that, but. <laughs> he does, yeah. It's, it is, yeah. it's it's a really good job on that. And, you know, and that's not even, we haven't even mentioned Joker yet. And Heath Ledger's just amazing performance. Yeah. Um, one of the all-time best performances ever you know he oh man when you already got a squad and then you throw him in there as joker it's just you can't so yeah so the build-up we we talked about the opening of that movie with him robbing that with him robbing the bank and then him taking off the mask and you know with what doesn't kill you makes you stranger and he pulls the mask off dude and like him with that the face paint and shit and the scars and it was just like this well, like, epic what doesn't kill you makes you ugly yeah it, <laughs> I that's an ajr quote coming out man i argue with so many people for i was pro heath ledger playing the joker and there were so many people that were mad because he was a pretty boy at that time, right? He had done yeah. a lot of like romance movies and he was this kind of pretty boy guy. So, yeah, I and I was like, no, dude, I, I was always a Heath Ledger fan. I was, cause you know, a Knight's Tale is one of my favorite movies ever, you know? So I was like, dude, I'm like, this guy's going to kill it. He's an amazing actor. I'm like, he's going to do a great job. So, and I was like, he's going to take it super fucking serious and he's going to do Oh, an amazing job. Unfortunately, you know, he took so it. Serious? He took it too serious, right? And yeah, know, whatever led, and it ended up leading to, you know, substance shit and yeah. potential problems, you know, in his personal life, whatever. But he fucking this role, it just crushes it, dude. Just nonstop. Amazing, Did he ever? Nonstop. I can't remember because. He passed away before it came out in theaters, right? Yeah, yeah. so he died. So, yeah, like right did he ever? Do you know if he ever saw the movie? I don't know. I don't know if he, he ever saw got the movie. You know, obviously, I'm sure actors and you know get pre screenings and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he ever witnessed his uh, probably one of his greatest. Yeah, greatest I know he won the Oscar for it or whatever too. The... Oh yeah, I mean. <laughs> It was, you know, you know, that's yeah, he, besides yeah, he, the fact. Just, he, yeah, he's he just fucking great, dude. <laughs> Every everything about him in this oh, movie yeah. was amazing, man. He he uh, crushes it. Yeah. And you know, how great we haven't talked about how amazing Christian Bale is as Batman, but you know, yeah, he's legendary. You know, Aaron Eckhart <laughs> is 
you know, Harvey Dent, Michael Caine, right? <laughs> in, in every in every Nolan movie. Um, Michael <laughs> Caine, awesome as Alfred, right? And then uh, yeah. Maggie Gyllenhaal stepping up to replace Rachel, right? To replace, uh, what's her face? Is Rachel, I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, Holmes, right? What's, I can't remember her name, but. I don't know uh, either, but. But, and then Gary Oldman's awesome again. Morgan Freeman reprising Fox again. Um, but just down the list of everybody in this is, is awesome. And, but Heath Ledger just crushes constantly in this movie. And yeah, it's just best, one of the best movie villains ever, man. Oh yeah. So we'll be getting to that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay. So let's keep moving. Yeah. Let's not even, yeah, like we should, but I just want to say, you know, that, you know, again, I think I mentioned, I don't know. I think we talked about this off screen by that, that semi flip uh, scene. Oh Yeah amazing you know another christopher nolan just amazing job of you know yeah. saying hey this has got to be real this we're not yeah. cgiing this yeah. we are oh. making this a thousand percent real and oh my gosh was it amazing to watch yeah those those scenes those some of those scenes in those movies man the that little with the bank robbing scene in the beginning too with the buses and shit and yeah. just the explosions and stuff and then that scene too. there's another the ripe truck, there's another shit. ripe on there's another small, tiny ripe on this movie is the fact that Joker just pulls out of a fucking bank in front of a line of school buses, and the guy that he just pulled out in front of it just says nothing. <laughs> well, more than likely, he had those people work, right? More than likely, he had them working for him. Yeah. you're. you're That's what right. I've always just said in the back of my head, that they were working for him, too. Yeah, <laughs> maybe paid him off, something little. Because yeah. like why else would it be that big of a gap? You're, you're right, you're right. I'm you know sure. I mean? So. Okay. All right. Now on to the last one. Certainly not the worst, though. Yeah. I I feel like they wrapped Dark. this trilogy up very well. I did too. Um, I, that's I don't I don't really think there's a bad movie in a bunch of these. Um, I know some people don't like Dark Knight Rises as much. Um, I feel like it's an A A qual A two quality movie. Yeah, I me. got an A as well. Yeah, I um, mainly a lot to do with with Tom Hardy's fucking Bane. Um, oh yeah, he did. He did a pretty solid job. <laughs> oh, that's a voice changer, but <laughs> <laughs> it's like an amazing dude. It was great. But he's yeah, I, I liked it, dude. I like the fact that it's like ten years later after Dark Knight. Yep. Um, some time has gone by dude i love that story plot you know like that batman you know because at the end of dark knight you know two-face fucking is bad you know and instead of making him the bad guy batman takes the blame yep. you know and they fucking everyone is yeah effectively yeah. retires right yeah so he's like no longer there so to do that you know so then all of a sudden fucking bane comes into play and he's like you know fucking take over the city and all this crazy shit happens or whatever but he bane batman comes out to like try to stop bane and gets his ass beat just and it's and it's amazing to see you know because batman always beats everyone's ass right so yeah he's definitely out of his element you know when you got uh you know it's, it's the whole argument of you know who who has a bigger will whether you have everything to lose or nothing to lose who fights you know harder i think is always the argument that a lot of people make and a lot of people go both ways so i feel like that was kind of christopher nolan explaining his at least his take and in terms batman's take of you know at this point you know with what batman has I don't know. It's very interesting. Um... Yeah, I, I mean, <clears throat> I mean that's the great thing about Nolan movies in general, right? He always the simple thing is bad. That he's always got to throw some like philosophical shit at you. <laughs> yeah, you know, and he always got to make you think, even while Batman's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> he <just laughs> even wants to make you think about it, you know. And then, I mean, yeah, it's. Um, it's a great film, dude. Um, I like a lot of it, dude. I like all the people in it. Um, Anne Hathaway's Catwoman is great, even though they don't necessarily call her right. Like, she doesn't play your typical Catwoman. No. 
villain villain style from like other films or other adaptations of it. Um, mm-hmm. But she is she is you know Selena Kyle, so she is Catwoman. No, yeah, and I I'm she's totally okay the, with her. No, I love I love it. I love yeah. I love her Catwoman. I love her. Yeah, she's great, and she, she's great. she's a great actor. So she I, she's no knock to her at all. It's just I know some people were mad that she wasn't like this villain Catwoman that Catwoman usually is, which I don't. That is what it is. I don't fucking care. So I thought she yeah. did a great job. So, it worked. Yeah. They, they, they they Bruce Wayne, another love interest, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, and Joseph uh, Gordon-Levitt, you know, uh, good little final touch there too, being Robin right at the end. Yeah. So, that was cool. You know, it's a cool little nod at the end of it. Yeah. Um, it was all right. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't know, it's, it is what it is. I wish we would have got something out of it. That's my only gripe, I guess. What well, of him being Robin? I wish we would have got him to be like a like, like Nightwing or something like that. Yeah, but it had been t- it had taken more than a movie. It'd take a whole another trilogy to even get to yeah. a Nightwing. You know, you got to well, go through, I mean. and you know, it's not. We don't know which, because this is his own take. This is Nolan's own take on Robin. You know this. Well, this isn't a comic book just, Robin at all. You know, it's not Jason Todd. It's well, not. Also, I mean, we could have. It's not Bruce Wayne's son. It's not any of their usual. Right. That's what I mean. We could have went straight into a version of Nightwing. We didn't even have to do. You don't have to I do any so. of it. Because it is Christopher Nolan's take, right? You don't have to do any of this other shit. You could have went straight into the Red Hood for all fuck's sake. Right. You, you <laughs> no, he couldn't have. Because <laughs> the Red Hood, because the Red Hood has so much to do Punisher. with Batman. Let's go. Let's that... go Punisher style, dude. Let's go Red Hood, dude. Fuck this shit. Let's just start killing folks. Because no, <laughs> to become Red Hood, you have to experience the Joker, and Robin did not experience the Joker. Because <laughs> the Joker, the well, we, you know, the Joker was. Original, his original alias was Red Hood, which is why um, he becomes Red Hood because he wants to get into Bat- Bruce Wayne's Batman's head. It's the whole point of him becoming Red yeah. Hood. Yeah, but we could have got something. I mean, I just I wish we would have gotten something. I, just, I, I guess so. I, I think like, you got enough. You, you, I mean, we saw him throughout. You saw how heroic he was, you know, as a cop yeah. turned detective turned not to a cop, you know. <laughs> So, yeah, I know. So you just gonna use your imagination that he took up the mantle or whatever, and yep, and stuff. It is what it is. But I thought it ended well. It was a good movie. Good, yeah, good trilogy, good movie, good everything. I mean, yeah, oh, I liked it, dude. You want to talk about this last one? <laughs> yeah, this Superman sequel v Batman movie. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, I know we talked about just before we started this that I, f- I felt personally that this was more of a Superman sequel than it was a Batman movie. Um, we yeah, got it here I on agree. the list, so I might as well rate it. Honestly, yeah. I know the whole the whole gripe, you know, comes down to the whole Martha thing, but everything else about this movie isn't bad. It's a good movie. Um, I enjoyed it. People, people are bitches. People are bitches. They took, you know, it's always like this, you know. And there's a couple of exceptions where it's just that worse that I would see it. But this, I I don't feel like it's quite that bad. I have it as a B also. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even ask you. I just kind of threw it up there. No, um, yeah, you're fine. I, I have it as a B also. <laughs> yeah, I'll put a B. It's definitely this better than the other two Batman. Those other two Batmans it's is fun. under it. But, it was fun. I, I love Henry Cavill's Superman. Oh, yeah. Henry Cavill it's is... A, Awesome. I love, love Ben Affleck's Batman. Do you? I do. I, 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 you know, I admit I haven't seen the Justice League yet. That's just, you know, personal shit that I just, I'm mad because they haven't made an individual Batman movie that Ben Affleck never got a fair shot yeah, right. at being Batman. And he won't so, at this point, I don't think. And he never will. And it, and it, and it irritates me because I loved this I love him. Of this Frank, more of a Frank Miller version Batman, you know, this yeah. dark, big, big, bulky Batman. I I liked it, dude. I liked his Batman, even though he wasn't, like we talked about this quote, hero Batman, a superhero. He was more Punisher Batman. Yeah. 
The only other thing, know. and that's nothing to do with um, him. That's more of just a story telling is the mm-hmm. fact that he's been Batman for how long and <laughs> Gotham is still considered the worst place on earth or something to live at is kind yeah. of crazy. But, you know, he, that kind of does take you into the argument, you know, because of him being Batman and being in Gotham, does that invite more villains, you know, do su- stronger superheroes and good guys invite stronger villains into the fray? Sure. So. Yeah, I mean, definitely. So. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's, it's a- it's got one of my favorite action scenes of all time in that film, dude. That's that Batman scene in the apartments or whatever, where he's fucking all those people up, <laughs> beat the shit out of them to save Martha. I mean, I, I love, I love that scene. It's, it's well done. It's well choreographed. So, I mean, it's, it's a good movie, dude, but that's, that's the, that's the Batman movies, man. Yeah. If you agree, if you don't agree, I mean, Suck it. it is what it is. We agree <laughs> with each other. So. Yeah. I'm good with this list. Yeah, it's a fun list. Batman movies are awesome. Okay, Batman's man. awesome. Let's Real get... question is, what do you think um, Vampire Kid is going to do as Batman? <laughs> vampire Kid. One thing I hope is that he's not referred to as Vampire Kid anymore after this. <laughs> <laughs> that is what my hope is. <laughs> Uh, I always said that he I is remember he's a good actor he's just you know tw- he's a very twilight good actor. gets twi- you know twilight is another one of those series that gets a bad rip but twilight doesn't get a bad rip it's a shit movie <laughs> they're all sh- they're all shit movies <laughs> <laughs> crap they're crap Ooh. movies they're crap dialogue with crap writing I'm sorry if you like those movies they're not very good <laughs> Uh, I like action scenes. That's about it. Nope, <laughs> the, uh, not even. Nope, not even that. Not, uh, nope, not, nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. What's his name anyway? I can't even remember his name right now. I'm brain farting. That's a great question. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. But anyway, the first trailer or whatever looked pretty pretty exciting. So I haven't seen the trailer at all. Yeah, I watch. I don't. Boy, dude, I haven't watched trailers for probably five years now. Robert Pet. Pattinson? Pattinson, yeah, there we go. Pattinson. I haven't watched trailers in five years, but I watched the trailer for that, but I only watched like 30 seconds of it, I think, or whatever yeah. it was, and I like skipped through trailers. I like bored, dang, 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 of them, and then I don't watch the last like couple seconds of them because they always ruin fucking movies, so. Yeah. No, I yeah. agree. I, I hope he does a good job, dude. I'm, I'm excited I hope so. for him, man. I, and I think, you know. He's a great actor, dude. He's a good and, actor. you know, that's going to be a, you know, that's going to be tough for him to do a great job so if he does a great job that's all the more effort to him um it's mm-hmm. just gonna be hard from i think more of a director's standpoint honestly to pull off a good story and a good movie and to represent that you know story again yeah um you know comparatively to the dark knight and you know, all the other yeah. batmans that you got and yeah it's too soon yeah all right <sighs> you're, you're you're right it is too soon Let's get over these villains quick. Let's do this, man. This will be quick, dude. This so we got a lot of crap here. OG Catwoman here. <laughs> Fuck it. You want to go Stitched. in order? Or we just gonna, just yeah, let's list. go in order, right? Let's well, let's go in order. I got them here. That's a very interesting order. Or I'll just yell out names and we can figure it out. <laughs> All right, let's do yeah. Let's yeah, do Catwoman whatever. here. <laughs> Catwoman, dude. Let's do Catwoman. Michelle Fiverr's Catwoman, best Catwoman ever. Uh, I got her as A. You got her all the way up as A? All the way up as A, dude. I think I had her a B, but I'd be okay with going A if you think you're, yeah. she's an A. I, 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 will, I, will, I won't argue about much on this list, but I will take that as an A. That is uh, okay with Michelle, me. Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman is fantastic. She is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> There's everything everything about her as Catwoman. Wow. It's perfect, dude. That's it. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> you got a lot of fantasies about her, do you? Oh, dude. <laughs> Man, that was like, little kid, there's a reason why, like, I grew up liking, like, leather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Mr. Freeze. He's an A-S-T, right? <laughs> 
you get her an A, I get him an S, right? All right, I'm turning this fucking stream off right now. <laughs> I'd be okay <laughs> putting him at C. I'm not putting him at D. No, we'll put him at C. I'll, I'll take put him at C. I don't, I don't, yeah, we'll put him at C. I like, I like some of his jokes. Yeah, we'll, I like say, his we'll puns. put him at C. Yeah, Even though that's a Arnold, lot, why Arnold, a lot of people Arnold, don't Arnold like him. Arnold is never a D, dude. He is never a D. It's because he's already got one. Anyways, Jack Nichols, <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Uh, a. Jack, you, you think A? A. You could go S. Oh, A. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We no, could... I wanted A. I was, for some reason, okay. I thought you meant S. No, we'll go no, A. Okay. We'll go A. Just because the fact that I think we have a better Joker. You know, and, you know, there are two different versions of Joker, you could say, but I don't know. I'm not putting... Yeah, I know it's weird. You you got something to say why you think he's a? No, I mean just just because I thought he was. I mean, at the time with superhero villains, he was probably the original standard for how good they need to be. Yeah, yeah. I you know what I mean? That. I feel like he is still. Everybody kind of compares that to that. What he how good he was. I mean, Jack is good in everything he does anyway. Yeah, so all right, sure. fucking guy can do a shoe shine commercial and it'd be amazing. <laughs> Uh, scarecrow um killian murphy's fucking amazing man he's amazing in a lot of movies like he's so i don't know he's like i don't know he's not a main character in a lot of movies he plays a lot of side role stuff like Dude, he, i'm watching the Peaky blinders man and he is fucking oh, phenomenal. i've been man. trying to watch that show for like years man to get into so it slow. anyways and so i just slow. every time for whatever reason it just it's just slow. It just just takes slow. forever. But it's fantastic, but it's slow. Okay. But anyway, Killy Bird, I, I think, dude, I think B. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, just, just because it wasn't there's not a bad. Effort. It just, yeah, as you say, there, it, you know, it wasn't, I guess, you know, he was kind of sidekick to uh, yeah. Rush Al Ghul. Yeah. But. Now, is it Raish? Raish, Raj? I think it's Raz. Is it Raj or Raish? I've heard people say Raish. I've heard people say Raz. Anyway, yeah, let's keep. Depends on the, the side of the year you're on. Yeah. Um. Anyways, what do you think of Raish? <laughs> Raj. Yeah, I'm thinking A or B. Uh, I feel it's almost like the same, right? Yeah. I feel the same way. Not enough. Liam Neeson doesn't get enough credit for for being a good actor. Um, especially because the later years now, because he's just he's stuck in this Taken character, in like those type those type of movies. But Liam yeah. Neeson's a fucking amazing actor. The goddamn motherfucker's Qui Gon Jinn. Shit, he's a Jedi. Give the man credit. He also um, died. Dude, <laughs> too soon. Man, this is too so too many soon. people that gives ripes as like, oh, that's the only movie he's ever died in is in Star Wars. It's like, uh, he died wrong? In Batman. Wrong? He died in Batman. I think he died in Schindler's List too. There's lots of movies he's died in. I mean, he's been in a ton of movies to not die in movies. So, <laughs> dies. In movie. um, no, he's died in lots of movies. <laughs> I have this B. Not enough of them. Phenomenal job, uh, but not flushed out enough for me. But B. Yeah, going back to the first movie, I guess we might as well put him, uh, Falcone, in here. Yeah. I'm putting him at C, not because of acting or anything, just the fact that he just. Had like zero impact on the movie. You could have had any other thug guy. Yeah. But you choose Falcone as the like that's the one, you know, a little ripe, you know, on that first movie that I got is choosing Falcone as like the first and have him taken down so easily is and then Scarecrow, you know, screws him over whatever yeah. makes him scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, a fun scene though. Yeah. Yeah. You you good with C? Yeah 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 that works. Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Okay, let's go. I don't even know this. This is all you. <laughs> Shaq. It is uh, I can't remember his first name now. I don't know either. Max Shrek. Max Shrek. Max Shrek. Well, he's. Uh, I mean. You can put him at C, dude. 
he he plays a pivotal role in that movie because he pushes Selena Kyle out the window. You know, he's a bad guy. He gets killed in the end. Like he, you know, he, he plays a big role in it. Christopher Walken's amazing and everything he does, but it's kind of like he's more of the third villain. He's a side guy. He doesn't yeah. really in it, and he's still not to Walken's character or his acting chops. It's just there's better villains in that movie than what he is. And I, I don't feel like he deserves a higher rank. That's my opinion on that. Okay. I'm good with that. We got Anne Hathaway's Catwoman. B? And I think that's just a fact of not really having an origin. But obviously, you know, she shows up in the third Batman movie. It's been 10 years. You know, we don't know much about the city, so... Yeah, I, I think that's, I agree. She doesn't have the full Catwoman fleshed out, you know, storyline either. You know, Selena Kyle, but attached, it's not. Yeah. I just wasn't, I never got emotionally attached to her like I did the first, like, Catwoman from Michelle Pfeiffer. Sure. I felt like there wasn't enough, I wasn't like, oh, man, like, like, never felt like, oh, shit, like, here's a story from her, you know? It was always kind of like, oh, she's a thief. Okay. You know, and like that was it. Like I never really got much out other than her being like a jewel thief type character. That was you know. Yeah. So. And then you got these two guys who basically take place. You know, you know, you got Falcone in the first one. You got this guy in the second one, and then you got him in the third one. <laughs> they all kind of replace each other as the movies go on. Yeah, it seems I got. Like. I, I think you keep those dudes in the fucking D column, dude. Yeah, you could almost, I don't know, you could almost move Falcone down. But just the fact that he plays Falcone, I'll keep him in C. Because <laughs> these guys, you know, aren't as big as Falcone, perhaps, you know, per se. But, I, I mean, it's not like he does anything. But Yeah. I, Anyways. They, they, were, they were plot drivers, right? They were movie yeah. drivers. Yeah. So the only good thing about the one guy is the, the Japanese guy, right? Freaking yep. Batman takes him out the window that was a pretty cool fucking scene <laughs> and then the other guy bane fucking does a great scene where he he's like he's telling bane that he's in fucking control and mm. bane puts his fucking hand on him and he's just like do you feel like you're in control or whatever <laughs> <laughs> just like fucking he doesn't he doesn't, he doesn't like, feel much of anything shortly after he, just fucking <laughs> he doesn't even like slap him he just he barely puts his hand on him and he's just like, do you feel in control? It's like fucking awesome, dude. So, but yeah, those guys are just plot drivers. So I don't feel like they're really villains. So I just, I put them in D. Yep. And I mean, we already talked about Heath Ledger. So yeah, that's, that's you got, <laughs> <laughs> you know where we rank him, man. He's yeah definitely the best movie villain. I think so far, I mean, you can make the argument of Thanos maybe. Um, so there's some I, others, I had this, but you can read that up real quick. I had this argue. I didn't have an argument, but I had this talk that the best villain that I've seen in my life, other than Heath Ledger's Joker in, movie, in comic movies was, was Thanos was, was, um, was, was Thanos, man. That, that I don't think that he was better than Heath Ledger's Joker, but I thought that the acting job, the portrayal and the, and impact. the story, the story, yeah, the, the impact, the impact writing, to the story. Yeah. The writing of it, the story, the acting, the like, well, especially with like the CGI, the way it was made, oh, like yeah. everything about Thanos is fucking amazing and just fucking perfect, man. He fucking won, and that's what some people need to don't they don't take away from that 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 Thanos won. Yep. Like, and people that I don't know, man. Like, we'll talk about it when we individually do an MCU thing. But that Thanos was fucking fantastic. And, and Josh Brolin crushes that fucking character <laughs> so fucking hard, man. And yeah, and, and now Heath Ledger is what I hold every villain up to ever. And Thanos is the only one that comes close to it. He's just like a very close second place as Thanos. But yeah, Heath Ledger's Joker's there, dude. That's tier. If there was a fucking god tier, that's where, he, that's where his Joker would be. Who do you have next, Bane? Uh, yeah. The the Batman and Robin's Bane. <laughs> I feel like you know you know we can compare these two. Yeah, that's all he did. I feel like him being big and the 
with the talk you know the toxic stuff that he's pumping into him i feel like is a nice effect and that replicates Bane it was fun more yeah it was definitely fun it was fun yeah what do you got I, yeah i have him a seat just because he didn't really do anything. He didn't have any influence on that at all, really. All right, big, strong man. Yeah, I, I just <laughs> didn't, didn't, I didn't, I don't even remember, I don't even remember how easy they kicked his ass. It was just, yeah. they pulled his boobs out or some shit. I can't remember, whatever. He was easy to kill. Mm-hmm. Good Bane. No, we got Tom Hardy's Bane. <laughs> I have his A. A? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, just because you talked about character development, flushed out emotion, everything about his Bane, I had from that, you know? So, I felt everything about that from his character, so. Like, you felt where he was coming from, you felt like, where, like, it was, like, you, the emotion, you know where his drive was coming from, um, and just, in Tom Hardy's fucking amazing, and I mean, just really well done. Bane's awesome. That Bane is awesome. Yeah. We got Ivy. Oh yeah, B. B. Uma Thurman's Poison Ivy is amazing. I do feel like me, me being like a twelve-year-old boy and very, very happy about Poison Ivy. <laughs> Uma Thurma being in a Poison Ivy costume had nothing to do about that. <laughs> I do feel like I you, I know you said you haven't seen Gotham, but if anyone watches if anyone watches Gotham on I think it's on Netflix, um, yeah. the Poison Ivy in that show is pretty awesome, pretty pretty great. Uh, you know, development obviously with it being a TV show and having multiple seasons over the seasons, watching that character uh, grow is pretty cool. So. Yeah, um, they have a very interesting take on it. Anyways, so, anyways, yeah, I have to watch Gotham one of these days, man. I've just never, oh man, a lot of the other stuff with Batman, I've just never really gotten into. Unless Batman's actually like Batman in it, so I'll have to break down and watch Gotham. You have lots of things you need to watch. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, just, I, I, I don't watch a lot of stuff. Like, than, like you work <laughs> all day or something. You don't have time to do any of this. I watched a lot of Elementary, man. <laughs> you finally finished that? Elementary? Second time? Third time? Yeah, second time, yeah. Second yeah, I time? finished it. Yeah, almost. I think I got like two episodes left. Okay. Anyways, back on the topic. <laughs> we got Penguin. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, Penguin's hard, dude. I battled myself with A and B. Um, Danny DeVito's Penguin's pretty fucking amazing. Um, Danny DeVito is amazing. Oh, uh, dude, I think I'm going to go A. Going A? So you rank him with these guys? That's what you're saying? Or do you rank him more with these guys? I think I personally rank him more with these guys versus these guys. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's... I watched that movie not that long ago, dude, and he was fucking really good, man. Final decision? We'll put him in B. B? Yeah, we'll put him in B for now. For now? <laughs> yeah. A couple years ago. And then we'll you rewatch Batman this. Returns. Okay, I see. And then and we'll, we'll talk about this on a future episode after you rewatch Batman Returns and we'll, we'll update it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'll be. <laughs> this is A, dude. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fault the falter on this one. This isn't Jim. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is is Riddler is. Jim is Carrey amazing. is Jim Carrey is amazing. <laughs> Jim Carrey is just a fucking. He is. is he's at my. Life. You know. He's. You know. You ever say what does it say? Like you have. You know. A group of four people that go. You know. Eat at a table. Who's your three other they take with you? And Jim Carrey is in that in that set for me. So yeah. I would love to talk to him. I'd love yeah. to get in his head, see you know, and see you, what he actually, you know, what kind of human he is. I'm sure he's a great fucking human, and I'm sure there's absolute great evidence out there. But to actually meet him and actually talk to you know someone like 
like him would be i mean that did you ever watch his uh comedians in cars getting coffee with jerry seinfeld i might have i just don't remember it yeah you should watch that it's pretty, it's pretty good cool let's finish it up here we got raza ghoul's daughter talia okay. Tal- talia ghoul yeah, or Miranda in Dark Knight Rises is Miranda. She's like, like the good character for most of it until the end. That's like the twist. I thought it wasn't a very good twist. I um, thought it wasn't or was? It wasn't. Wasn't. Yeah, I didn't really. Meh. It was meh. Yeah, meh. Yeah, it kind of yeah. like, other than being a mastermind, you know, having that mastermind, you know, as soon as things kind of went sideways for her, it fe- felt like she- she couldn't think straight. You know what I mean? Like she wasn't, yeah. I don't, I like, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Like as soon as things went off plan, it just went downhill for her. She could never regroup, which I feel like a real mastermind would have been able to Yeah. do something about it. Um, I, I have her a C. 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 Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. See, he has to see too. Stretching out, Rebel. Stretching out. Oh, you're so cute. Anyways, <laughs> we got these two faces. We got two two faces here. Yeah. Irvy Dents. Um, <sighs> these ones are hard. I I have Aaron Eckhart's Harvey Dent as, as a B. Just because of the impact he had on the story more than anything else yeah he never um, really got to i mean he got to flesh out his two face a little bit i guess yeah there wasn't he was only but in it for it like the last like 20 yeah, minutes yeah last it was in the last third but of the he movie had a ton of, that... he had a ton of impact oh yeah on the future the future of the movies right well the last movie yep so i wish there would have been an hour of two face in that movie yeah you know or an hour and a half or something but it, 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 it might have affected the fucking joker part of it a little bit more maybe yeah. but his, i love aaron eckhart's ability to transition from this like go-getter da type character to like this fucking vengeance seeking psycho which was just <laughs> amazing man it was just really really good so i have it as a b but just because it wasn't enough of them yep and then i have tommy lee jones tommy i like lee. tommy lee jones He's an amazing actor, dude. Old school fucking guy. But I have it as a C. Oh. Just, just because. Oh, what'd you do? <laughs> I have it as a C. We saw nothing. <laughs> we saw nothing. Nothing happened. We went on. Nothing happened. Um, I have it as a C just because it just wasn't, the makeup wasn't very good. The costumes were fine. And it was very, that those movies were very comic booky and campy. And yeah. they were weird and stuff. But sure, it just, I don't know. So that's where that's our villain list, everybody. For Batman, obviously, um, I like the list. There's, I feel like you could maybe add a couple extra categories to separate them out, maybe a bit more. I, I think so. But other than that, I feel in general, top to bottom, it's pretty pretty good. Um, divisions we got here. I mean, they're in their. <laughs> certain categories for certain reasons whether you know some of them obviously i feel like it's just not having enough time to maybe get their characters together which is you know a hamper and then some of them just i mean knocked it out of the park with however they did it in terms of the movies as you can see generally they're up there at the top i mean batman movies it's hard to get a batman movie wrong it looks like so (laughs) <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> they're all pretty great man i mean like i said even the even the ones that are at the bottom they're still fun to watch but those those nolan movies and those keaton movies are phenomenal man and the, the yeah you can go back and those nolan ones are hard they don't they don't hold up as well not the nolan ones they sorry the keaton ones the tim burton ones they don't they don't hold up for action movies you know they're not like action-packed but they're still fun to watch and they're still really good movies 
but like the the Nolan ones, man, are just fuck, man. They're just really well done. And when we talked about how many times we've talked about Christopher Nolan with his practical effects and how well those three movies are done with practical effects. Yeah. I mean, the dude blew up a plane in midair, right? And the, the practical effect of stuff like that is some pretty crazy shit. So, so it's um, yeah, it's just Batman movies are great, man. Watch Batman. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> now, when, uh, who does? <laughs> well, I can't remember what movie that was. Was it like Neighbors or something like that with Seth Rogen and? Well, they were arguing about who does the better Batman voice. <laughs> Keaton, the, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. And then you got Christian Bale's, I'm Batman. <laughs> the dark. I feel the, the dark, one thing with Batman gritty. costumes, you know, they've definitely evolved from the beginning, but at least they don't feel so, like, kissy face anymore. Because <laughs> I feel like in some of those older ones, like, they're, Batman's lips protrude. So much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they look a little goofy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen comedy, uh, college humor's take on the whole yeah, think... uh, Batman killing or not killing people. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen I that. Know. I'll have to send you a look. It's a real short clip, but it's pretty funny. It's got, it's got a guy in it. Anyways, we'll end the podcast here. Um, yeah. subscribe for more. Like if you enjoyed this for a couple guys that have listened to the end. I we thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, until next time, right, Kyle? Yeah. Till next time. Have a good one. <laughs> Till next time. Yeah. See y'all later. <laughs> Peace. Oh, gotta <laughs> gotta figure out this. Oh, true. There we go. Music's rolling. <laughs>